How to Create Invoices in Smart Contractor. As you complete work on jobs, you will need to invoice your customers. If you're like many contractors, you're probably generating invoices in QuickBooks, and you probably know how much time that takes and how easy it is to make mistakes or to lose track of what was invoiced and for what job items. Smart Contractor makes this a lot easier, quicker, and more accurate because after you enter your purchases and labor hours, all the data for invoices is already in Smart Contractor. All you need to do to create an invoice is select the items to invoice from a list and click OK. To create invoices in Smart Contractor, select Create Invoices in the Invoice menu. Click Add to add a new invoice. The program will list all items to be invoiced in the job. Click Select All to select all of the items in the list to be included in the invoice. Or you can check items that you want to invoice. Or you can click on the Invoice Options drop-down box to filter the list of items to invoice based on various criteria. You can select items by item status, by job section, by cost category, or groups of cost categories. Non-materials is everything except materials, and non-labor is everything except labor. You can select items by estimate item group, or by job phase. You can invoice either the estimated cost or the actual cost. Normally, you invoice estimated cost for a fixed sum contract and actual cost for a cost plus or time and materials contractor. Check the Invoice Zero Amount Items box to include items that have no cost. The Invoice All Items Percent prompt allows you to invoice all items by a specified percent. As you enter invoice item selection criteria, the program displays the list of invoice items below. Again, you can click Select All to check all of the items displayed to be included in the invoice, or you can check individual items. Notice that the invoice item grid shows, for each item, the estimated amount, the estimate plus markup, the actual cost entered to date, and the actual cost plus markup. Click on the actual cost to display a list of purchase transactions or labor hours entered for that item. Also, the grid shows the amount previously invoiced for each item and the balance remaining to invoice, so you can easily keep track of how much has been invoiced for each job item. The program assumes you will invoice the total item amount, but you can specify the amount to invoice for each item, either by entering the percent to invoice or the invoice amount. You can specify a retainage amount as a percentage entered here. And you can apply some or all of the job deposit to the invoice here. Once you have selected items to invoice and specified the amount to invoice for each item, click OK to save the invoice or click View to view it. You can print or email invoices in this format, which is predefined in Smart Contractor, or select Print Payment Applications in the Invoice menu to print the invoice formatted in Industry Standard G702, G703 Payment Application and Statement of Values forms. The Statement of Values form automatically includes any change orders for items invoiced in the current payment application. You can list items in the Statement of Values form by job phase, estimate item sequence, or by CSI division. You can also use the Draw Request document to print invoices. This has the option to print in Cost Plus mode, which displays the actual cost for each item in the Draw Request. One more thing about invoicing. The Quick Invoice option allows you to automatically add an item to the job, make it a change order, and invoice it all in one step. This makes it quick and easy to add an item to the job and invoice it without having to go to three different places in the program. Now that you've invoiced your customer, you need to enter their payments. Please see the video on Entering Payment Receipts in Smart Contractor. 
This concludes the tutorial video on how to create invoices in Smart Contractor. Thank you for watching.